So I'm really glad you could put this together and congr w welcome back to New York. You had quite a trip yeah. and it was uh, it must have been very exciting and interesting and we're going to be catching up. We haven't done a program for far too long. And welcome to you all very much once again. It's good to see you. Okay. See you on tonight to see most of uh, Rabbi Becca again. It's yeah. been a long time, but uh, welcome. Yeah. Thank you. And welcome to you in the audience. Welcome very much to Conversation. It's a pleasure to welcome to the program. Three gentlemen representing an organization called Natura Carta that they're going to explain, and there are people that are of the Jewish persuasion, Orthodox Jewish persuasion, and as it happens, maybe a little bit unexpectedly to a lot of people viewing, they happen to be very vehemently, and from a spiritual perspective, anti-Zionist in their take on the world situation, and we're going to be talking about that, and if I may just parenthetically say, uh, yourself, you were recently at the conference in Iran, and have met recently with the president of Iran, and that's something we're going to make reference to and so forth in the program. There'll be a little footage about that. But gentlemen, welcome very, very much to conversation, particularly Rabbi Beck. Once again, it's very good to see you and welcome you to the program. Um, on my far left, if I could, is Rabbi Moshe. It's Moshe Beck. And he's uh, a person, we'd have to say at the outset, he does not really adequately uh, deal with the English language. He will be speaking some in Yiddish. And Rabbi Weiss, who is on my immediate left, will do translation for him. But he's a spiritual leader of the organization. It's a great pleasure to welcome him. I hope he can understand what I'm saying, and we'll just alert the audience to that fact. On my immediate left is Rabbi Dov Israel Dovid, or David Weiss, and he's a spokesperson for the movement. We've talked with him in the past, and David or Dovid, so welcome very, very much to Conversations again. Thank you. And on my immediate right, is I used to know him William, but it's uh, Mordecai, Mordecai uh, Weberman. He's a member of the organization as well. And Rabbi uh, Weberman, welcome very much to Conversation. It's good to see you again. And uh, gentlemen all, welcome very, very much to Conversation. Perhaps we could, because we're talking about something that's a little bit unusual in terms of most people's perception. Um, you are representative of an organization called Natura Carta. I think it's worthwhile for us to org uh, to uh, uh, to introduce the general audience to the Natura Carta, what their beliefs are, and what set them aside for a good deal of the Jewish community in the world relating to the question of Zionism. But could you share a little bit of maybe your own background, a little bit, and then also particularly the Natura Carta? What is it? What is it representing? And why does it take the position that it does? If we, if you could, please. With God's help, I pray to God to bestow upon me His wisdom that I should be able to convey his truth to your August uh, listening audience, watching well, audience. Yeah. Let's hope they're all God. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and uh, that they, they should be able to further uh, disseminate this truth to the world with God's help. If so, we can sanctify his name. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, we have <coughs> the, uh, you started in the outfit, you said that we, uh, we sort of like set a little bit um, aside from the uh, uh, large populace of the Jewish uh, uh, people. So on the outset, let me just say that um, we are, um, I would believe, in the same mindset uh, in, in a general term and in most issues, uh, to in even the issue of Zionism, the state of Israel, and so forth, as uh, I w maybe the vast majority of people who are religious, who are true to the Torah, in the uh, issue of Zionism. Really? Um, okay. Yeah. But on the of the being outspoken mm -hmm. and in some small details there we may disagree about the approach and um, things like that so well, let me explain first of all who I am I am uh, mm -hmm. with God's help I come from religious parents religious Jewish parents who uh, were born in Hungary mm -hmm. uh, and you know they were they were there God-fearing and one of my father's uh, rabbis was one of the leaders of, of the people who were uh, outspoken against Zionism before the creation of the state, even uh -huh. because Zionism is actually not 50 years old, or since the state of Israel, it's really a movement that started in the 1890s or so with the Theodor Herzl, yes. and uh, and it was started by non-religious Jews uh -huh. who were wanted to transform the concept of Judaism from the religion, from what Judaism is, into a nationality, into a whole different. Uh, uh, transformation of a whole thing from re uh, into a, a materialism, a political issue, uh, dropping the godliness from it, dropping the religious aspects of it, but still using uh, an, um, the name of Judaism and to, t 
to legitimize what they were doing. They didn't want. They wanted to use the Torah, the Bible, and so forth uh -huh. to waive that to legitimize whatever they're going to use under the, n their nationality. I, be so I believe uh, Rabbi Israel Dome in England has written a book called, called the, the Transformation, Transformation, which exactly, exactly took up this that, point, that, that point, and that that's the major thing. Perhaps that has to be addressed by the Jewish community right. writ large. You know? yeah, exactly. Uh -huh. So that, that we have to explain um, and Neture uh, Karta, the movement. Yeah. Is it's an Aramaic word coming from the Talmud, which refers to um, the exact translation is Neture, the protectors, Karta of the city, which was given in the 1930s to the people who were vocal in their uh, outspoken uh, in their op in their opposition to this uh, to this influx to this movement of Zionism, because I say. Uh, Zionism started in the 18th, end of the 19th century, mm -hmm. and um, the beginning of 1910, 19th, they started coming in in droves into Palestine. Mm -hmm. uh, the people for who were following this this uh, ideology of Zionism, mm -hmm. and there was already a very there was a very uh, settled um, uh, large community of Jews that were living there for hundreds of yeah. years who were God fearing, mm -hmm. and they were their whole life was to be religious Jews. Mm -hmm. They didn't want this new ideology and they felt threatened so they formed um, uh, a Haredes God-fearing community mm -hmm. and this was to make a wall to to in order to keep away this this terrible influence I wonder if you could set me straight a little bit if I understand correctly uh, Theodore Herzl was an it uh, was an atheist in his he own belief and so forth and they had this idea the Jewish community had been in exile for a couple thousand years for Close reasons that we years, could go yeah. into and that there was a condition by which they lived. The Talmud, I mean the uh, Torah True, lived with a sense of identity over all that long period of time with an idea that had reference to the ingathering of the Jewish people at right. the end of time yeah. Yeah. that was really relevant, that helped keep that community together. And there was a feeling, and when the first they announced that they were going to pick up and go and start nationalistic and start a state and that sort of thing, it was rejected by the vast, overwhelming exactly. majority of all the Jewish people that existed in the world. Am I correct in that? Well said. Okay. Let me explain that. Uh -huh. If all the people in the world should have it as clear as you do, mm -hmm. then it, we would be we would be uh, saved from our problems because. Um, as you say, we we were we believe that when God made the uh, contract with us, or made, made a bond with us, yeah. the covenant yeah. on Mount Sinai, uh -huh. He clearly stipulated that we're going into the land. He's giving us the land, but we should be we have to be on a special level of holiness. Right. Of uh, and if not, then we will be the land will reject us as the, the nations before who who uh, uh, who unfortunately they uh, defiled the land. Uh -huh. So w the Jewish people they accepted this this stipulation, and then with the destruction of the temple, we were told by the prophets very clearly that we're being sent not because of our physical inequities, we were sent out of the land because it was God's will as a punishment as um, because of our spiritual inequities. Right. And we were clearly told by God that we, a, Jew, a person of living, the purpose of our living on this world uh -huh. is we believe is to serve God and uh -huh. to glorify God's name. That's the reason of a person's life, to glorify God uh -huh. and to serve Him. And now, to keep alive the prophetic tradition. Well, right. we, well, that is, yeah. we believe the purpose of a yeah. human being right. is to, mm -hmm. to serve God and to, to, to bring glory to God's name. Now, the uh, pinnacle of that would be when all the world will recognize the one God and serve Him. We believe that and we pray, and this is what we were you, you were mentioning, that we are praying and hoping and yearning for the day when God will say uh, uh, that the time has come to through uh, metaphysical changes that the the exile will end and he is <coughs> gathering us back in with all the nations <coughs> all the nations will come together uh -huh. to to serve God in harmony uh -huh. it won't be through military happening it at won't all be for a state it is pro it is proscribed that God will do it. It will not be done and militarily God, it says God or in will, the traditional it's, way. It's, we say in our prayers that the, the, the Jerusalem was destroyed in fire and God will rebuild it in fire. So in other words, it's a metaphysical thing and we believe, and this is the yearning yeah. of every Jew, yeah. this is, we, so, we, um, so the concept of wanting a state, even after the end of the exile, is also wrong. We don't want this, this materialistic, this political issue, we're yeah. not interested in it. Yeah. The Zionism came around a hundred years ago, yeah. Theodor Herzl, mm -hmm. they, as you mentioned, some of them were totally atheists. Theodor Herzl in his diaries spoke about converting Jews to Christianity uh -huh. because it would be more convenient. He, uh -huh. he was in Vienna. So their concept was that they said one thing, this is no good, 
they want to convert you, to transform it from a Judaism religion into a national national. Yeah, and they could say everyone else in the world has a nation. Why, why can't should, the Jews? Why shouldn't we? Because of course they dropped because the whole Torah. Because there is a special no? covenant that was contrasted right. to the Jewish view of the prophetic yes. tradition yeah. that you exactly. feel has been violated by jumping the gun, as they yeah. say in the modern thing, before its time. And it is not in keeping with the truths that are contained within the Torah understanding of this. It's not Torah truth. It's not. To it's totally a different concept. Their uh -huh. thing of nationalism. And I, they shouldn't call it Judaism. But why do they want to use my name? In other words, they're misusing. They're abusing the name <coughs> of religion. They should call it. You know, give it a nice fancy name, a catchy name. Why yeah. are they using <laughs> Judaism? Yeah. So it's wrong. But they do call it Zionism because uh -huh. they went up to Zion. Zion is Jerusalem, mm -hmm. and they're using. Again, why did they go to Palestine? They were thinking of going to a different places, Uganda and so forth. You know, it would have been uh, more practical. But they realized they won't have the backing of non the, not the Jew. They won't have the backing of the Jews. Mm -hmm. who they every, they know every Jew yearns and speaks about. They say that at the Seder, they don't the they? Next year, the Shana Habba, the uh, yeah. the, the coming year in Jerusalem. The, they, the, so they started calling themselves the beginning of redemption, uh -huh. and they knew that the, they counted on the <laughs> ignorance of the masses, and uh -huh. that way they'll be. Able to, and they also knew that the non-Jews who also will back, the, the, they'll be able to wave the Bible, say, you were in the Bible that mm. God gave the Holy Language. So they knew what they were doing. They wanted to use the Star of David uh -huh. and uh, uh, the signs of Judaism and the name of Jews, Maccabees for uh -huh. the Olympics. What is Maccabees? It was the five children of uh, the high priest who stood up for the against the Greeks when they when they put the decree against Jews that they can't um, circumcise the children, they can't sanctify the Sabbath. They were five people. It's not possible to win against an army, uh -huh. but God made them successful but because... Is it, yes, it, but isn't it true that at the initial stages they were seen as a radical fringe group, the Zionists, in the early stages? Totally. And the vast majority of the rabbis and of the learned people were totally against totally this opposition. idea as in op that that idea is in opposition to what the Torah tells it is of the destiny of the Jewish people within a larger world. It is context. heresy. It's a, it's and a heresy. heresy. And it's forbidden. And uh -huh. not only is it a heresy because it's a transformation of what Judaism is, but it's forbidden. It's uh, spelled out uh -huh. in the Talmud that when God put us into exile with the destruction of the temple because we were not worthy of remaining that, he stipulated. For your sin. He, and he said clearly, do not rebel against any a nation. Yeah. Do, yeah. Not, um, do not go back in mass uh -huh. to, the, uh, to the Holy Land as a garage group. Do not. Um, uh, um, uh, you should not rebel against any nation and do not make any attempts to anything. And if you will, it will be, God forbid, catastrophic. Uh -huh. for the Jews. So we find that you have over 60 years of their attempts, supposedly, of making uh -huh. a good land for the Jews, uh -huh. and you're having death and suffering of Jews and non Jews alike. And if I'm not mistaken, they said that, uh, that as you understand it, and whether or not people, we have reform, or conservative, different things, you're orthodox, they have different theories, they have different interpretations, but as you understand the Torah lesson of right. how this is to be achieved, it is to be done within an elevated state. The world would be at an elevated state of universal justice, right? and that it would be done totally with no military uh, might being exerted in that traditional way of nations fighting one another at all, and it would be within an elevated state. And it does have, but bring up another thing, it did say that this would be led by Moshiach. Right. So now that words, gets a little yeah, tricky, tricky, but the yeah, idea so of the Moshiach yeah. has seems to have gone by the boards, as they say. There was a popular song in Israel: "The Moshiach isn't coming; he isn't even phoning." Do you remember that popular song that, recently? Uh, uh, and I, I, I didn't hear understand. that song, but that yeah. is the way the one that, that they uh -huh. ridiculed mm -hmm. the Torah belief. Now we, yeah. it's possible there'll be wars, a pride, you know, things that are happening, but the but the the, the, the gathering of the people. That mm -hmm. it will be because God will make a metaphysical change, and that, uh, and it says like it says on the by the United Nations, there's the Isaiah wall. Yeah. That one nation will not pick up a sword against the other. Right. They will beat the swords into plowshares, and the sheep will run with the wolf. So that and that is a very different context, the world in which we live now. Correct. In this so it'll year, be a metaphysical 2006 change. of the Christian era. Right? Or correct. the common era. Right, right, uh, very, uh, very correct. So yes. that is a jumping of the gun in a certain sense by reading right. of the patience that's required to be Torah true in your estimation. And that was the belief of the vast majority of the Jewish community totally. up until the time something yes. changed with yes. the yes. Nazi Holocaust right. or something yeah. of that sort of thing. Does well, this yes. make sense to you, Weber? I mean, exactly. It makes some yeah. sense to you, right? Yes. Okay, yes, and yeah. so what caused, if I could, what caused the world, the Jewish world,
to take a different view than that traditional one that had held them together as a nation for a couple thousand years yeah. to switch to where so many of the Jewish community, Jewish community right. and that sort of thing now, are totally in favor of this idea of the Zionist uh, enterprise. What yeah. caused that? There was, of course, the terrible devastation delivered down upon the Jewish people by the, the oh, Nazi course, regime yes. in Germany and so forth. But what caused the transformation, do you think? Well, the ignorance of the masses while the Holocaust. Uh -huh. the, the masses, the Jewish masses? Jewish masses. Jewish yeah. masses, yeah, yeah. masses uh, and the, also the of the peoples of the world, perhaps? Or is it you're talking I'm from talking a about Jewish perspective? Jewish. Okay, okay. No, oh, this is terrible. It was it's it's a web home. It. It's the modern technology. You I have caused it. Right? <laughs> it happens, it happens, it happens. But so it was just a matter <coughs> of ignorance. Right. You don't think there was a sense of great existential angst at the so much of the devastation that was delivered down that people would say, for instance, We've been good, we've been good, we've been good with the nations of the world, and all there is, there's anti-Semitism built into the consciousness of the Gentile world or the world, and we can no longer allow ourselves to just passively go into the ovens and that sort of thing. We must become strong, and we can yeah. no longer go along with this passive yeah. idea. Well, and that sort of, is that not part of the context that was involved <coughs> in terms of the transformation of the Jewish nation to when the Israel was declared and so forth? That is what the Zionists used. They manipulated, they used the Holocaust with those type of statements. And it was like a that. terrible event. Of course, of yeah. course. I mean, Rabbi Beck yes. uh, himself, yeah. he was in a bunker. He was hiding, he was in uh, Budapest and Pest and hiding in a bunker during where his mother was killed mm -hmm. in the Holocaust. My grandparents and aunts and uncles were killed in the Holocaust. I'm also from Hungary. Mm -hmm. My father escaped. So we are people who the Holocaust is in our blood. Mm -hmm. But we, the, we, the Jewish people who died, they died because they're Jews, because they want to serve God. Now to use them, metaphorically speaking, to use their blood to rebel against God, to, to, to uh, desecrate God's name by misabuse to uh, by abusing the Holocaust, by oppressing another people, by causing more bloodshed of the Jewish people mm -hmm. and the Palestinian people together. Uh -huh. There's an endless river of blood happening because of a rebellion against God by the Zionist state. That is not what they wanted. It's like digging them up and, and God forbid and spilling their blood against mm -hmm. them again. And mm -hmm. um, so we speak in their name because in truth, the Zionists uh, not only are they rebelling against God with the state that is forbidden, mm -hmm. and God warned us that it will be catastrophic, so we see that what happens if there's no peace and there's endless bloodshed. It only gets worse. It only gets worse. It's, it's supposed to make everybody came. safe, and it makes it them only more unsafe all the time, it, it seems. It, it's their, yeah. We call it they're the greatest factory of exacerbating anti-Semitism throughout the world. Uh -huh. Jews were living in Muslim countries in harmony, in relative harmony of all the countries that they, before there were human rights groups in the United Nations. You don't think there was anti-Semitism in 19th century, 18th century, that sort of thing, and it's a thing that has to be suffered by the you, Jewish people passively right. and in, in keeping with that and accepting it with great right. patience. Right. And it was funny that it got to be to where the people said, no, right. we are strong, we you can see, be strong. The, the anti-Semitism is inherent, we believe. God gave it as like a part of the part of the world, a tapestry, oh. to, 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 that it should remind the Jewish people that they always have to remind that they're, here not, they're not here for materialism, that they should serve God. In, in the our Shulchan Archa, Book of Laws, it says when yeah. God forbid there is a, a, a plague, there is a, a earthquake, or there's um, some type of war or de a, a decree against Jews, and God says it's for us to fast and to uh, be introspective, think what, why is God bringing this upon us? Repent, as like it says in Jonah, the prophet yeah. Jonah, yeah. That, he, that he spoke to the city of Nineveh, mm -hmm. non-Jewish, mm -hmm. and he came to the king, he said, God sent me to you, mm -hmm. to this, and he said, and to tell you that he's going to destruct your city, and mm -hmm. God, and so he, the king told all the people, the inhabitants, that they must repent, and look what they're doing there. Uh -huh. This is the Jewish concept of the world. This mm -hmm. is religion that we, re we, re we recognize that God is the one who is with every human being in this mm -hmm. world, he's controlling the world, mm -hmm. and he wants to always remind us to that. And that's what in, in, that is what anti-Semitism is through the generations. From, we believe from God's remarks. That doesn't mean that that releases the people who co who do bad things to the Jews mm. or to anybody else. For many they guilt. They got guilt. guilt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But every, God is perfect. But that's not your concern. Your concern Our is to be torn in two. Exactly. Yeah. That we right. have to be see why did it happen to us, God yeah. forbid, or whatever. Right. Now, um, uh, now Zionism. 
Zionism says that God is not there, they have to have a, pre God forbid, and that blasphemous, and that, that they have to protect themselves. God went to sleep. And, on the, and so therefore, God the went to sleep. Uh, it's called his eyes, God forbid, yeah, and things like that. Yeah, yeah. But in the truth is, we say, God forbid, God is there all the time, and he God does not close does his not, eyes. And he doesn't close his eyes. No We've thing. closed our eyes to yeah, God, is what you're that that saying, and the world has, with this nationalism and that sort of thing. In fact, and there's an elevated, higher order that must be kept true to. Right. In fact, okay. there's a verse that says, Hine lo yonam God does not does not um, uh, I say dream, he does not think that you know yeah, 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 he doesn't yeah. sleep uh, the yeah. protect oh, sleep. Okay, yeah, so uh -huh. in other words God is always all the time 24 hours you know mm. he's constantly he's, and compassionate and worries about every thinks about every human being and about the Jewish people there is an elevated order, order that we right. can take into account right. but with these matters of spiritual concern right. yeah so if God allowed the Holocaust we have to try to think what and if not we're not prophets but we try to think what happened yeah what why, why God allowed this mm -hmm. to happen mm -hmm. we have to try to figure out how we can better ourselves and think what happened now the Nazis definitely were responsible God will avenge their blood of the mm. Jewish people there mm -hmm. for every but we have to think as far as like you said that we mm. have to be introspective now the, the Zionists say look the Holocaust happened and they, and they use it as an they would say because we were weak and and the and we must irony, be strong the That's irony they, is, yeah. is that they had a hand in the Holocaust there we was collaboration there was collaboration before the, the, Jew, the, 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 the Zionist flag flew in Nazi Germany they they wanted the Jews sent up to Palestine yeah. 51 documents right. from um, Lenny yeah. Brennan maybe Lenny Brennan I know right. well I've done yeah. programs yeah. then we have a letter that not only but not only that but there happens there's a book called Holocaust Victims Accused I have that book here okay where in 1943 when the Jews were, were being slaughtered in England they had a meeting at the Parliament and 270 members of Parliament put forth a plan to take the Jews into their colonies mm -hmm. and the Zionists say wait they said only to Palestine and the, the British said yeah. no, we can't do this they said yeah. so they, 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 they evacuated the, they, they, they vacated the plan because so they, they had a, they had a plan right so they, they had a, a, a nationalist plan a political exactly. plan so, that so they so wanted they to said, implement and they yeah. said to the they said mm -hmm. to the to the parliament so the parliament said to them look if you don't want to help your own brethren then yeah. what do you want from us yeah. so it was a and they because uh, after the war they blamed the British for being complacent the yeah. British and the, the head of the rescue was from the Jews yeah. under the chief rabbi put a letter into the London Times or Guardian we have it and he said don't blame Britain he mm. said you're the ones who did it and nobody was able to, to dispute that fact yeah, right now, and then in 1944 1945 you can understand our, uh, Rabbi Beck <laughs> someone a little you're yeah. getting better with the English <laughs> yeah I know yeah because we did a program with you about 12 15 years ago with Mr. Barguti's office. I remember, and I remember it well. And it's very good to see you again. In yeah. 1944, 1945, when the, when the Nazis invaded Hungary, mm -hmm. Rabbi Weissmann, the, best man, the head of a whole yes. area, Nitra, w um, uh, went and approached the henchmen of Eichmann, and he made a deal that the Jews would be bought off from the, they were desperate for money, mm -hmm. and, 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 and he made a deal with Eichmann that they should stop killing the Jews and he was going to buy them. So, and then he ha in order to have money to buy them, Rabbi Weissmandel approached the Zionist organizations, and they thwarted his efforts, and he wrote a book about that. They were caught. They said they don't want these Jews. I'm going to quote, I think it's necessary, Chaim Weizmann, the first Chaim president. Chaim Weizmann, first president, president of Israel, the, yeah. The, uh, the, and really the father of the state of Israel, yes. the one who arranged the white yeah. papers with the ball for the mm -hmm. correction. Mm -hmm. um, um, he wrote, he said like this in 1938, and this was from the Jewish Press, Friday, October 18, 2002, and it's in his writings, uh -huh. Chaim Weizmann. Uh -huh. Of course, he said, Palestine cannot absorb the Jews of Europe. We want only the best of Jewish youth to come to us. We want only the educated to enter Palestine for the purpose of increasing its culture. Educated, he didn't mean scholar, Torah scholars, he meant the secularly uh, learned. Scientists, yeah. Sci the other Jews will have to stay where they are and face whatever fate awaits them. These millions of Jews are dust on the wheels of history and may have to be blown away. These millions of Jews, we don't want them pouring into Palestine. We don't want them pouring to the past. We don't want Tel Aviv to become an old, another low-grade ghetto. Another what? Low-grade ghetto. Low-grade ghetto. He yes. Low-grade. He didn't want a Jewish ghetto. Yeah. 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 This yeah. was the mindset of Zionists. So they were complacent, and not only complacent, but they they had uh, responsibility. They had a hand in the destruction of Jews because all of Hungarian Jews could have been saved. Mm -hmm. So my grandparents, Rabbi Beck's mother. All these Jews could have been saved. And then uh, in Britain, as I say, millions of Jews would have been saved if it wouldn't have been for the works of Zionists. Why did they want the Jews saved? They said, Rak Vedam, Tiyelon works. They said, the more the Jewish blood is spilled, the, the, the conquerors 
the victors will will uh, will distribute the spoils. Will give land, and if there's more Jewish people killed, then they'll have more pity They'll give us more Palestine. Uh -huh. That was the and at the it was killing two birds with one stone because they didn't want the Orthodox Jews who opposed them to come in. So they the Orthodox Jews were still opposing them. Of course. Did Rabbi Shearson or the Lubavitcher ever oppose the Zionism yes. and then switch when things became practically able to well, be and why? And yeah. that and there's just the Natura Cartas left in terms uh -huh. of this traditional view yeah, well, that is maintained against the great yeah. odds against a great deal of the world that uh, yeah. sees you with great infamy and so well, forth. They tend to, the Jewish population, yeah. right? You were subject to that. So the not as, well, let's put it this not the whole world, because the Zionism was uh, opposed, like you mentioned before, by worldwide, Everybody. but all the rabbinical scholars in, uh, throughout the world. And Schneerson Dye's dynasty, which is Gobavich, yeah. were all wrote, were prolific writers of Shalom Dovber, of yeah. Blessed Memory, wrote very strongly about Zionism. And in fact, the last rabbi, who was very controversial, controversial, yeah. never said that he's a Zionist or, or stood up for the word Zionism, but he said that the safety of the Jews is in question here, therefore we have to um, support not returning land. That's like they're saying that now. Right. That and the, the safety and, of the Jews say, is an existential thing. We have to support the state of Israel because that's the only right. chance they have to protect the interests and the lives even of the right. Jews and who are being beset by terrorists right. and people who are against them yeah. for reasons of inherent anti-Semitism right. is the point they will make. Now, now. we say to them, that, which is many, many Jews throughout the world who say, listen, that's just fear-mongering, the fear, like a, a creating panic amongst the Jews, of, uh, the propaganda of Zionists, because in truth, the, there's more death and destruction because of the state of Israel, and the, fact is, and the fact is that we were always living um, in, in peace and harmony with the Palestinian people and with the other uh, throughout the, the Arab Some people land. would take exception to that. They say they were, the, uh, the Islamic world treated them badly as second they, class no, they citizens. they say that we, oh, dummies, yeah. dummies. Yeah. They come, we were second class citizens. Many Arab lands, if you're not a Muslim, you're a dummy. That yeah. means that's a second class citizen. But who cares? As they, th so we couldn't um, uh, serve in the military or whatever it was in each country. That's but a good thing, that's not to serve <laughs> in the military. Who wants but, to serve but, in the military? But, but yeah. they let us practice our Judaism. Yeah. Th that's yeah. the whole point. As yeah. a Jew, as a religious Jew, we uh -huh. have no problem as, uh, as we can be good Jews, practicing Jews, mm -hmm. and, and, and that we, but we don't believe that Jews should be, Judaism should be transformed in, into a democracy, into an uh -huh. issue of that they want to be the heads. And well, much, like of the world, much of the world has gone secular. As right. they say in the modern right. world, the modern world is one where there was traditional held by the the religious traditions were there, but everything's gone secular with the age of the nation and so forth. So many of the Jewish people who would have studied Talmud or Torah will now study medicine or literature, and they That's will go secular, problem. and they will go. You no, don't have any opposition to that. No, 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 no. That, no, no, that. that we do. you understand you what I'm saying? Two things that you said, like people who are there's religious people who um um you know who are. Uh, practice on um, professional people. Yeah. That's not a problem. Secular is a whole different story that you put in there. Well, in those are secular, the no, those are secular concerns. I mean, instead oh, yeah, of, yeah. Instead of story studying Torah, you will study the legal books or the medical books right. or the scientific books and do right. scientific research. And people become more and more secular through time well, in the minds of many yeah, people. It, and yeah. that's a problem of modernism on the part right. of a whole lot of people problem, who've certainly. lost their spiritual certainly. roots. Right. It's not just Jewish, it's also a great deal of the human society. Look right. at China now. They're right. all going materialistic and that right. sort of thing with a million people. It's a problem of the modern definitely. world. That's a okay. problem. Definitely. But you have a model that one could be referring to that keeps true to spiritual traditions that are meaningful on a universal uh, right. Tableau, right? Exactly. Okay. And but you can be, in other words, that you could. It's not. Uh, you could be uh, a person, uh, you know, with a profession and things like that, and be practicing Jew. Just the, the transformation, you know, dropping the Judaism. That's where the problem. And yeah. then let's get back to what the people were speaking, uh, speaking about because of the fear we shouldn't return the land. But that's not true because I, we say to them, if you you can live in throughout the world as we Jewish people are living in the United States yeah. throughout the world, and uh, and being a practice, you see that it's that's a false. Uh, um, uh, it's uh, uh, propaganda. There, there was, was a problem. Let there was a problem. Let me just finish that. Yeah. In other words, you can live throughout the world, be a practicing Jew, and you don't. Ha you can't. And just say that I must rebel against God and have a state. God says to you, you don't feel you're afraid well, that you're afraid of the Arabs. 
over there. So move out. Don't make a rebellion. Don't give me a, cons a continuous rebellion against God by continuing the state because you're afraid. There was the move mm. out if you're afraid. Okay, but there but was it's not even true what they're oh, saying. Okay, but there was anti-Semitism directed against the Jewish community. They had country clubs you couldn't join. That sort of thing in America, and there true. was gentlemen's agreement. All this kind so of thing. So what is the solution? So what is the solution? The solution what is, is the Jewish the way. Okay. Is the Jewish way. Okay, well the Jewish. That's worth right. taking consideration the of. Way I think there's a lot to be said for the Jewish right. way. Right now yeah. we were told in the Torah, Yaakov, Jacob went to his brother Esau, but he wanted to kill him, and he brought him presents, and he tried to placate him, and we were taught that th this is a command for the exile, that throughout exile that were from God, we are told that we should never go militarily, even though over there it says that he prepared the Muhammad, militarily means that we should prepare now, to escape. In other words, the approach is... In other words, there's two issues. We have yeah. Zionism that we're not allowed to have a state, yeah. uh, uh, our own country, our own entity. And there's a second issue that even Until it's time. And then, again, not a state. Then we will have this everybody unified and serving God. Not yeah. a state. Uh -huh. Now, but wait. But the, there's another okay. concept that Zionism has, uh, has, uh, um, um, uh, has spoiled and, um, and put in, um, poisoned the, the, the minds and the, uh, the thought process of the Jewish people throughout the world that, that we have to stand up against people. That concept stand is... Stand strong. They want to be that strong, concept not weak. is yeah. against Judaism. In mm -hmm. other words, even if it wouldn't be a state of Israel, the concept that if somebody wants to do us bad, God forbid, that we should... We should maybe hit them back. Huh? That is non-Jewish. That is non-Jewish. That non -Jewish. is non-Jewish approach. The Jewish approach is you should go to them, try to placate them. Maybe pray, reason. First of all, maybe pray think, and, and, yeah. do, uh, uh, and repent to what's wrong. And then go to them and say, look, what can I do? Why are you against us? And so forth. And what can we do to make the world so we don't have to do this nonsense to each other? Right, Perhaps right. make the that world the more Jewish just. Approach. That is ju that's worthwhile maintaining, no? You see, to, see, to, to repeat that, to uh, say... Yeah, yeah. No, I'm just saying, yeah. I, I'm not sure I can, but I'm saying that that's, yeah. a, that's a thing that's worth keeping. That's an attitude of a peaceful kind of way that can be based upon reason, reason, right. justice, and, and so forth. And that will be successful. And, and that's what the world needs in order right. to be able to get to the elevated state where this end time might be realistic. And what about the concept of the Mashiach? Right. Well, we Whatever believe, happened to the Mashiach? How right. are they going to do an end time thing when there's no Mashiach? Isn't that kind of a big issue? Well, ben Gurion is not Mashiach. No, no, no. Well, we, well, we, we believe that when he no? will come, all, we're not going to have to prove to anybody who Mashiach is when the time will come and there will be a metaphysical Talk change. Talk to it. It's a big issue. Right. So and we'll a lot of people would say yeah. Mashiach doesn't matter because that's right. just all that legend. And Maimonides says, well, Maimonides explains it. He says that but it's when kind it's of central. Right. When we believe, like I said, we're not going to have to convince anybody with the Uzi or that this is Mashiach or this is the a end tank. of time. A tank. A big tank. A big tank or something. Atomic bomb. Right. Yeah. What will happen is when the time comes, there will be a metaphysical change. There will be a different yeah. Spirit in the world. It'll be an elevated and order. And there will yeah. be a person who will come and bring the hearts of Jews to repent and the world to recognize the one God. That will be, and then we'll, we, we recognize the Mashiach, and we're not, the, Maimonides writes that we shouldn't even be busy uh, thinking and trying to... We should be busy to making a just world right, that will make it possible for that to emerge. to be yeah. busy uh. exactly how it will be, how because we, we can't understand because it will be a change, a yeah. physical change. It's but a that's mystery. the Jewish yeah. concept. Right, right. Uh. But like I say, there's definitely, the, the approach that we have, like the... Uh, um, opposite of, Carter, you right, know. opposite of what and the Turek as I always mm. say again mm. the Turek is only the voice of the many uh, the, the I would say the majority of religious Jews who just were afraid who were intimidated they're afraid to speak up because of Zionist do you think there are other people this is the, our, the voice of that yeah. and we say that let us approach the nation, not like a, the Anti-Defamation League in yeah. A. Fox, who will always says, yeah. you've got to apologize, yeah. and they yeah, punch right, right. we're going well, the way. there's political space to be made by taking that attitude and building upon the guilt and that kind of thing. You can make political space for a movement by taking but, that and attitude. it's wrong. This is no, non-Jewish. Right, so it's other against, people take contrary, antithetical to what Judaism now, would they say, to do. Would there people in that realm, that spiritual realm, Fox, Foxman and that kind of thing, they would say, what you're saying is contrary, what you're doing is naive, you just don't understand the real world, and you can't allow that kind of an attitude. There's no reason why we cannot, like everybody else, exert our influence and influence on the world and right. have our authority well, understood that, that's and recognized. You see, what they consider that they're brilliant and they don't yeah, want to they be a world a lot of law because books. they don't realize that God is brilliant and more than them. Well, they might. Old, and, they, and, and God has a different plan on the world. But can so they, they, won't, they won't be successful. They're looking at it through a peephole mm -hmm. and they think that they're smart and they think tanks and they're going to come with the solution. That's why you have the hawks and the doves of mm -hmm. Israel mm -hmm. and everybody says, oh, this way is going to be successful, this way, and nothing works for over 60 years. Why mm -hmm. isn't it working? Because mm -hmm. it's not God's will, it's not God's way. Mm -hmm. It cannot be successful. The approach, going against God and saying it's the real world, and they scoff at us and belittle us, we say to them, okay, 
you're doing your way, see, who, see what you're accomplishing. But and even if they would accomplish... It only becomes more dangerous all the time. And even if they would accomplish, you would say to them, but you're still wrong because you're, you're rebelling against God. Don't speak in our name, at least. Uh -huh. It's not Judaism. Mm. Judaism is what told, is it if dictated it's not, by if God. You, if, it does, if, you, if you're going to disclaim the idea of Mashiach or the prophetic tradition or the Torah, uh, why not just do, do, do away with the whole idea of any God or anything at all? Why yeah, not just be totally secular say, like everybody uh, exactly. else and let's, let's, say what they let's are. get in the fight and <laughs> we'll be right. strong and why we're are smart. They, and why are they pulling yeah. up into their yeah. quagmire, into mm. their dirt? That's the way you see it. Uh, right. There are a lot of people within the Reform, not just the Orthodox, you say religious Orthodox, the people that are in the Jewish community li at large that right. have these attitudes but maybe they're sub rosa and most of those people will at least at the service after all, you've got to say this is Jewish, and if you're Jewish, you're going to tend to be associating with that. And there was a great respect for it after, you know, in the 50s and that sort of thing. But a lot of people in the norm, the world, other than the Orthodox Jewish world, that also might have in a closet kind of way or in a harboring kind of way, sentiments uh, is similar to what you're voicing outright and into right. the world. Many, many people think? share our view who are non-religious. Every, and, and the religious, I say, there's definitely, I mean, the hundreds of thousands are true to that because they, from, they, they have the same teachings that we have. They have the same Torah teaching. It's clear what the Torah view is. It's in Palestine, in throughout the whole occupied Palestine, throughout the, um, the Holy Land, in throughout the world. And, and it's logical also, like you say, but mm -hmm. I, I, I'm always, uh, we're always a little bit hesitant to get into what's logical because we, we, we say, even if you don't understand it, do what God's will is, because this is the Torah, this is what we have to okay, do. Okay, now we're in a world now where this is the year in the 2006, right, and we got a thing, and you people have just, you, I know right. you, and I think Mr. Felt, Rabbi Feldman and some others, right. uh, were just visiting the arch, the camp of the arch enemy in the minds of a lot of people, Iran. Right. You took a visit to Iran, it was very much in the news. We're talking yes. on, what is this, January 11th, yes. 2007. So, uh, uh, so you were there, and so forth, you got that kind of thing, and those people are taking a different kind of view from the one you, you that you take, and what what are, are what are we to say to them well, uh, in the terms world. of the the geopolitical and the realities in the world, and yeah. particularly this Iran that's going to go and uh, they're yeah. making statements about destroying Israel and that kind yeah. of thing, which feeds into the paranoia right. that people feel, which is existentially loose in the world. You got weapons that can destroy the whole species and so forth. We're in an existential, challenging time and so forth. What do you say to those well, people who yeah. take that view and say you must be strong to protect what we've got? Well, yeah. Well, again, and then the ramifications in Iraq and so forth right. as an well, extension of American again, power behind back, Israeli. Yeah. We're going to fall back on that. First of all, who the the, the almost the entire media besides your channels mm. and IRIB and maybe Al Jazeera, you know, different mm. things like mm. that. These people are uh, with malicious intent. Uh, falsely portraying what's going on in the world, falsely portraying what Iran is in President Ahmadinejad. They, they're trying to make them mm -hmm. into evil and agents against, you know, and people against the world. They are not, and we're very clear, they are not uh, people who hate Judaism, hate the Jewish people. We have the statement. They hate Zionism. They, they're against Zionists because it's evil. They don't so, hate the Jews. Exactly, and, they, and the Zionists maliciously, and they put out a statement that the President Ahmadinejad said that he wants to wipe off uh, was that a misquote? And that is a misquote. It Jonathan is a misquote. Jonathan Steele in, uh, in the London Guardian uh -huh. um, um, a quote, uh, has a, a whole issue about that. He quote, uh, Quan Cole, uh, a, a professor in the University of Michigan, said that he de he spoke in Persian. He Something was lost in the translation. He said he They're said very poetic, right. that Persian and language. And he said it's very poetic, you know. It is. Yeah, and yeah. he said it should disappear, just like we say, that we pre pray oh, every day. Oh, that is different, yeah. It's, it, it's uh -huh. a called it's a transitive verb. He said it should, it should disappear because God, it's evil and God doesn't want evil, uh -huh. and he spoke. He spoke t to us. We spoke I to. I can say the nation state might disappear right. in a new right. order where it doesn't have any meaning. It disappear because they got right. all these systems out of history that are outdated and a new spiritual order and that kind of thing. And that's what we said. That. We have yeah. these comments that was put mm. out after we sat with him for an hour and a half in Iran, and he said through dialogue, the world, the chief executive. Called, this is a statement put out by the uh, Iranian uh, president's office, and he he he, he it says. Uh, you uh, met with him here recently in New York. For an you, hour. He was here. And he, were and you he, there at that? And meeting? exuded. Oh, you were there Rabbi Beck was there. Was Rabbi Beck there also? Yeah. With the president um, uh, Ahmadinejad here when, the, when he was in New York, and he spoke, or Bebek spoke in Yiddish. Did you find him letter. a good gentleman? He Is was he, uh, tremendously very gracious. Warm. Or what, he was yeah? gracious. He was warm. That's and not he, the. And he no, says, no. Rabbi Beck says, I hugged him. We hugged each other. You hugged other. him. Did and you like him? Did he have a good Hamish? Was he Hamish? Was he a was warm? Hamish, yes. Was he uh, was he, he good? You, uh, a good feeling. Yeah. I like other people. They love it. No, in Yiddish you can speak. Uh, 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 uh
he was very friendly. He friendly. Said he was very friendly. You saw it, and he spoke about it. he has nothing against the Jewish people, and he and, and on the contrary, he respects the Jewish people. And we would what can be against the Jewish people? The Jewish people are beautiful. <laughs> I think. Help, yeah, yeah, no, it seems they were. But uh, more, you you met him, and he was uh, logical, intelligent, the grain, made and, uh, sense. Uh, <laughs> because it was a he said very intelligent comments. Uh -huh. That's what he said, which uh -huh. we, which we, uh, we and wise. Is it giving quick? Is it giving He spoke to the point. He spoke uh -huh. logical, and that's what he's saying. Okay. In other words, that is what we're talking about. The mm. person he clearly sp um, is, um, uh, 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 spoke here. Like I say, we, if, this is a statement that was clearly from their office, so you can't refute it. Mm. He said the problems facing the world and the Palestinian issue has to be settled, uh, um, solved through dialogue and the necessity for peace and paying attention to the prophets' instructions. All right, all right, <laughs> yeah, that would be you good. Know, and then he said the, the prophets. And they're yeah. of the book. Right. That's they what believe they're of the book. He yeah. said the fake Zionist was regime was established based on lies. It should either pack up and leave or hold a free referendum to establish a government based on the will of the Palestinian, Palestinian nation, which includes Jews, Christians, and Muslims. Well. He further stated, while the fake regime of Zionism has set up a large prison in the occupied territories of Palestine for the Muslim, Jewish, and Christian mm -hmm. residents, they lay claim on human rights and freedom. Uh -huh. He said one other thing, let me say, the president referring to the opposition of faithful Jews who believe in the instructions of the Prophet Moses, the, um, in re reference to the crimes and stance of the world Zionism, Ahmadinejad said the vigilant and just human beings will not blame the Jews for the crimes committed by the fake Zionist regime and its supporters in the occupied territory. He wants to make a distinction between the he Jews and, and the he Zionists. Said, including the Zionists, the Zionists is another thing. That's one thing. thing. But the Jews, he said, vigilant and just human beings will not blame the Jews for the crimes committed by the Zionist regime mm -hmm. and in the occupied territories, including the genocide of defenseless and oppressed women and children. He said, uh -huh. no matter what they do, the, the mm -hmm. terrible crimes, we throughout the world just people will not blame the Jewish people. Now, how could you say that he mm. said that they should wipe these Jews off the map? Well, it's called spin. spin. There is spin, yeah. and there's that, and people have a certain agenda and so forth, and people look at the situation, and they see the Muslim world as a threat to the Israeli-imposed Zion, I mean, the Zionism and so forth, and so they have to, de they have to deify the enemy. Demonize. They demonize, and yeah. they did it with the American Indians. They said no engine, good in, only good engine, dead engine, all that sort of thing, in order to assert their own political and control. And what exactly? And, and that is seen, is that seen in Iran or in the Arab world or in the Muslim world or in the broader world as an example of a European-based Western colonial attitude for the other peoples of the world or not? Do they see Israel as a representation of European colonial control the way the British yeah, exerted right. colonial Very, control, or is that relevant right. or not? Well, and is there a reaction against that? We've got, you know, Nasrallah in Lebanon and that right. sort of thing, and that there's a real standing up to the idea that yeah. Israel is able to assert itself, maybe ideas of greater Israel, all these right. kind of things as expansionist, Western colonial uh, con conquering of the right. peoples of the world by Western people, and they see the Israeli example as Western European colonization. Right. And is well, that an issue that has geopolitical significance as we begin to look ahead? Oh, yeah. Well, you, Rabbi Beth like, like, um, uh, said to me that I should be very clear and state. Yeah. He said that the Jewish people throughout the world sh are forbidden to mix into politics, per se. They, they, what they, they, they have to be just practicing the religion and being and we are supposed to be and required to be loyal in every country we reside in. So when There's you a lot of politics, politics in Israel. Now, exactly. Now, they, now, the concept, in other words, to try to... Uh, dissect and to um, understand, you know, the different um, like geopolitical things, res um, um, uh, effects of what of we were locked into that. But we will say that that um, Zionism is definitely uh, um, looked in the Arab world and the Muslim world as um, responsible for creating um, um, the havoc and you know that they're the responsible Nakhla. and and and, and through, yeah well in Palestine for yeah, certain and yeah. throughout the world and of course what they've done with Jewish people throughout the world they've created a rift between Jews throughout the world they've created um, and they feel that people who are in support of Zionism mm -hmm. it's because of the Zionist propaganda arrogance and, maybe and, 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 and false statements and, mm -hmm. and, and, and 
that they try to vilify um, the other people who are standing up against the right. doing and, 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 and if I may, uh, I'm an American. I'm not Jewish. I'm Episcopalian. I'm sorry, but that's mm -hmm. just the way my background is and everything. But I got a feeling for it. And you've got backing from the United States, which is a superpower that made Israel possible. It couldn't have happened without three, four billion dollars a year going steadily to that for anything that they want. Weapons and that kind of thing, superpower status. There is a reaction perhaps against the Israeli venture by one point, it might be 1.4 billion Muslims. You got to give the Jewish people credit for chutzpah, <laughs> that they think they can go among 1.5 billion people and go with a couple of million and set up a thing and stick their thumb in their eye and say, you will or submit to our power because we are yeah. better people and that people are not going to at some point react to that in a way that has meaning. If they react to that significantly, the masses of the right. people of the world, not well served by the political leadership now, if they react to that against Israel, that could have ramifications against the United States because people are rising yeah. up all over the world against the political order that's See, in place say, because we need a political order that will make it possible for universal justice and perhaps the yeah, Mashiach and all that kind of thing. Do you understand? I say, I understand. understand what you're saying, but you're saying that we should give them credit for chutzpah. It would be a nice joke, unfortunately, but unfortunately, it's it's it, the, the, the the chutzpah is, is causing... Uh, it's, why is it chutzpah? Because it's dangerous, and it's, and and the result of this danger is that th people are dying. Uh. Jewish and non-Jewish people, this blood is pouring like in rivers. Yeah, but why? maybe in the divine pattern or something was necessary for there to be something because the real power in the United in the world is the is, is, uh, you know is the United States of America, and the United States of America perhaps does not have a vision adequate to serving all the people in the world, and this may be a way in which they got an ally that's. Is, joined well, at the hip, and they will be yeah. able to bring a challenge to the basic assumption that the United States of America represents historical legitimacy when there has to be an altered system, and it has to be woken up to an altered system than the one that we advance with our Israeli ally, and that that is wrong like as soon as Louis XVI was out of date in 1789. There's something new needed in the world, and our leadership coming from the Western world is not giving that vision to the yeah. world, and the world needs that vision, and maybe it'll start coming from a reaction from Iran or from some place where they have a vision that is adequate again, to what is yeah. required for the whole of the people, again, rather than just a few. Yeah. You understand what I'm I, saying? I understand what you're saying, but again, politically, we always stand back and say, look, po politics is forbidden for us as Jews to do that, to get involved in the politics okay. of the block. But I can say that many of the United States of American people are good people. Uh, the oh, most people in the world are, good, are, good. are very good throughout yeah. the world. And mm -hmm. they mean, and unfortunately, Zionism tries to tell them that they that they have like um, that they should support them because of sympathy and uh, because of the threat and, and, the and anti-Semitism and, and they bring up the Holocaust yeah. and now we ex um, emphatically stated at the conference there that the Jews in Iran in, in Iran they were in Iran was, just a month or so ago that yeah. there was um, that there was these six maybe more than six million Jews killed in Europe we're not going to the, the whole issue of the, of the, the numbers because but they were, all the Jews were eradicated unfortunately from Europe mm -hmm. and so we said but 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 to use that to um, you know, to intimidate. Why a don't we give them Bavaria? Uh, well, that's, that's what, what our mind is. I mean, it was the Germans that did it. Give them Bavaria. Why take why take it out on the Palestinians? Yeah, that that they, they didn't treat them particularly right. badly. The Mufti so, or something, but right. yeah, that's exactly mm -hmm. what he said. And he said, why are they paying for? It? That's why he made his, uh, this conference. Yeah. Said, why does the Palestinians have to suffer? That's why we went there mm -hmm. because the whole issue was about about that the fact that the Israelis are the state of Israel is abusing. The, the death of the whole people in the Holocaust using it abusing it I know using but they're using it they're using it, 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 in it in right they're using thin, it as yeah. a right and yeah. they're saying that that because of that you know people if you can speak up you see you're anti-Semitic in the Holocaust therefore we have to have the land yeah, yeah and if you say you're anti-Zionist they say you're anti-Semitic they, they, they trade to. in that exactly but it's and smart it's smart PR well, no uh, yeah. <laughs> that's true they're efficient yeah. and they're, they're good mm -hmm. but but the, I mean you know what they're, what they're trying to accomplish but they're but it's evil now what they're trying to do is like we said how ironic and how tragic and how terrible this is we say in Hebrew you you've killed and now you want to inherit in other <laughs> yeah, words oh, they, they had a hand in the Holocaust mm -hmm. uh, spiritually God warned us that we will be God forbid it punished if we will stand up against them on him and you had like many reasons one of the reasons was that yeah, they, you they, go they, secular sec the you're, secular you're forbidden to go secular in the way they've gone exactly we don't understand yeah. exactly yeah. what happened but mm -hmm. we understand that people were punished we believe from god well, there was a secular the people wanted to assimilate with and in germany and mm -hmm. from there hitler came they because your grandparents mm -hmm. Jew, were practicing jews doesn't matter your grandparents were jews 
you secular now, it didn't help to become secular. Mm. Then you had the people who, uh, who, uh, who, who, who took up the Zionist movement, which God warned us, if you will try to leave exile, it will be it will be Ahead of time, where's Mashiach again? And, and, and you'll be hunted like animals. Yeah. And we find that in, in, in the Holocaust, Jews were hunted like animals. They mm. were made into soap bars. They were made into mm. bags. Other so, people have been just uh, have been treated that way also throughout history. Certainly. Half the population of Libya was wiped out certainly by so, Italians. Uh, yeah, the uh, Holocaust. But, uh, Why yeah. do we call it the Holocaust rather than the Jewish Holocaust? There have been other Holocausts. Other uh, people genocide. Have suffered. There was genocide okay. of other of all the ways. I think the Holocaust per, uh, uh, terminology I've heard. I don't know if it's true. That's right. I don't know. They they the Zionists like coined it after the Six Day War. I'm not certain. But was, genocide on lands have been uh, unfortunately over. And every herd being there's a distinction between a Holocaust and I don't a genocide. Know. I don't know. That's something that should be gotten down. I said the word Holocaust down. was um, the you, I think coined. They said, but whatever it is. The humanity, when half they the suffered, population half of, of the Libya was, was wiped out, and, and, and by, the, and, and by the Holocaust, it was uh, tens of millions of. But if you're trying to killed. get a, if you're trying to get a corner on the market of suffering right. from bad anti feelings about your group, then you would want to have it made unique and apart from all the suffering that's happened. Yeah. About, what about the slaves? What about the American Indians that have been wiped out en masse? That was a nothing but a Holocaust. Why do right. we call the Holo the Jewish Soros, yeah. the Holocaust? When in fact there's been a Holocaust delivered down on people throughout the history of mankind. That That's what I'd like right. to know. It was special. Whatever they want to keep is, it special. Possibly. And whatever it is. And maybe Zionist, it was. I don't know. The, whatever the Zionists did. But one thing we're saying, we, our gr parents, our grandparents, our relatives, and all of Judaism that was wiped out, they died to sanctify God's name. They don't want to be used to rebel against God, to oppress another people, to do another in unjust. Now, they're conservative so and reform and so forth who will say this thing about the you, the way you're arguing about the Torah and right. all that, that's all just past stuff. It doesn't matter. What matters is the geopolitical realities in which we're in Well, now. again, they so don't... This is all just past stuff that you shouldn't be concerned What they say right? doesn't matter because they don't... I mean, they don't... They let them say in their names, not in the name of Judaism. They cannot represent Judaism because as they say they're reforming the Judaism. They're not the Judaism. But they do represent institutions that have great ability to raise money and to get tanks oh, and to get military possible, power and yeah. exert and all that kind of thing but as again, opposed to yeah, they don't all. represent. We're here to, to express what Judaism is and what Judaism is about and what Judaism says you you are rightful for and not rightful. Zionism has no right these people who had a hand in the destruction of the Zoids, how, how, how terrible this is that they're using now the Judaism to say, give us the land, and they were given the land, and now to intimidate anybody who speaks up against them, yeah. uh, who, who, wants say, who wants to question Zionism and the right of oppressing the Palestinians, they're using this. <coughs> now, what we were saying something, just a small point yeah, here, huh? that in the United States, the, all the people are good, but they, but they feel that they're supporting Jews, and they don't realize that by uh, backing Zionism, they're, they're helping create, um, uh, to exacerbate anti-Semitism, and it's against God, it's wrong. Let them support Judaism by helping the poor people if they want to give help uh, to live in the United States and to live in Palestine, but not let the people supporting uh, you're by letting the, the letting the people who are now in Israel come to the United States. Are you talking about? Let is there enough? Is, is there pressure that's going to be exerted on the basic premise of the existence of the state itself? The, or is that something that is to be considered? Could we set up the Sixth Fleet and let people be expelled or no, be we don't, that's brought not back? The point. That's, not, that's the point. not the point. Because, because no point in thinking that way. No, 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 because uh -huh. because we are certain. They could go to Bavaria. That we, we are certain. If somebody wants to go, let them go. And, and we no, say I we, mean we under, under pressure, pressure of 1.6 no, billion point. Muslims no, no, no. who really put pressure like Nezrallah's up in Lebanon. We don't believe that will happen. Because you don't think no, it will happen? Be, not because we've spoken to many of You don't think the Muslims. order that is run by, the world that is run by the Bush administration in the United States of America is ever going to be questioned in terms of the fact that they have an overwhelming power that all the mo world must bow down to? Like the Arabs must yeah. bow down to the overwhelming power of the Jewish uh, uh, ability to exert their power with their 2,000 to 200 atomic bombs and tanks and so forth, that they're not going to have to uh, have a, re there's not going to be any force to come against that system that's in place that is out of date. Well, with God help required. us that, that, God help us that, first of all, that they shouldn't have such power, the Zionists. But they and do. I don't know if they have such power, but they but have. They're but they're seen, they, they want to be seen as invincible. They're not being seen as invincible right, now right. since Nezrallah. Right. And, right? and, uh, and they're, creating, they're creating anti-Semitism. People say, look at those Jews, look at the power they have. And they don't even have as much as they, the, the PR they have. And now the wait, United States and is Nasrallah, behind them. You were speaking on Israel. These people we've met, we've been on Lebanon, we've mm -hmm. met with leaders of different group organizations we were in Iran. We met all over. We were meeting with You've Palestinians. You've been to Iran, yes. Yes, we mm -hmm. met with Palestinians, and they all 
all these groups, they all say one thing, we have nothing against Jews, and we are certain, of course, it's their will, it's their, their prerogative. If they take, with God's help, there'll be the end of Zionism, and we pray so speedy and peaceful. You want the end of Zionism? Zionism, what does it the mean? end of the state of Israel. Wait a minute, what does it mean, the end of the state of Israel? What it does that mean? We pray if it means a dismantlement the of the state, but not the death of the Jews, God Not forbid. the death of the no. Jews, but what's going to happen? If you, if I may, you've got yes. the thing with the wall, no, you got all the guns. The, 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 oh, a change of, Rabbi Beck says, a change of regime. In other words, it should be under the rule of the of indigenous people, the Palestinian people, and oh. we are certain, we are certain that with, we, we would ask them, please allow us to live amongst you. If they won't, God forbid, then we'll have to pick up our pack, our pack, look, we say our, um, you know, our suitcases and move to other places because oh. that's, we have to be loyal in every country we're residing. But we are certain that, that the, the, me, knowing the history, the, um, uh, 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 the testimony of history, that they won't, they don't want to throw out the Jews. They will, they want them to live side by side as President Ahmadinejad said under the rule of the Palestinian people. So what would happen? So that what would, would happen. We'd we had some tapes yeah. that we haven't got a chance to get in. We're out of time. We have to talk and everything. But if, if that were to happen, then what would be the existing, what would be in what is now called the territory of Israel and the West Bank, much less the greater Israel that's projected by some of the neocon really radical fringes yes. and that sort of thing, uh, what would be the situation in that part of the world if there is the end of the state I'll of Israel? I'll tell you Israel. what would happen. That's the term I'll you tell you. Use. Not right now. They're digging up graves because they want to make an extension to Highway 6, the, the, the Israelis. They're beating Jews constantly. Do Jews are dying and, and, and Palestinians are dying. With the end of the state, you're going to find peace and we're going to be able to With coexist. Me. And we won't, they won't be digging up our graves. They won't be uh, uh, desecrating one the more Sabbath design. One more time, just visitate yeah. this idea, the end yes. of the state. The end of the, the end state. The end of the state of Israel, you Correct. think. And now, what would there be in the end of the state of Israel? What would exist, say, in 10 years or something, if the state of Israel ended? There will be a peaceful term. land, a holy land, that will be under, that will be living in harmony, um, Jews, Muslims, Christians will be living together and with God's help in, in, in a peaceful coexistence as we have been doing for hundreds and hundreds of years. Would there have to be a uh, new way in which the world itself is organized in order for there to be a peaceful no, condition among all the not. people? Definitely you're speaking not. just about the Jewish-Israeli thing and not the whole world. Or well, of course, well, but we, we, we may be at a time where the world need elevate to a way where you have universal we'll justice, that. That which we haven't had that. out of That history. is what we yearn That's and pray for, we'll that the day should come with God's help with the old world. Should, we pray every day for that, that there, yeah. there should be peace in the world, that everybody should recognize going God and serving peace. That is the yearning of a real Jewish perspective. I think that's Jewish the people. yearning of every peace-hearted and right. well-thought-out person yes. of the world, and it's really, in de it's particularly relevant now because the destructive <laughs> capability is so Promethean now beyond where we can wipe out the whole species, which would be a bad idea. Right. To God wipe out all the species in order to protect some outdated idea coming out of history, but it may yeah. be a time of transformation of the whole of the world, and it's that context within which the end time of the Jewish tradition, as I understand it, is to be unfolding. So we have to create a world. But the leaders of the world now, who have the guns and the weapons, do not have a vision, and something's going to have to bring the world to that vision. We have a and strong God. We have a strong God. You have a strong God. We have called prayer. <laughs> okay. We pray to God, and we have dialogue, and it will work with God. Okay, so. well, it's a good thing. i only got a couple minutes left. We're just closing graphics. Do you want to say yeah. anything quick here, Weber? We no, just, uh, uh, he left, he left, sorry, wise, wise, left nothing to say. <laughs> <laughs> he left nothing uh, to say. Rabbi Beck, say a, a minute, or what do we Yeah, have? we got, we got, a, we're just running credits, okay. really. We only got okay. 30 seconds or so. Say a word to you. Rabbi Beck said yes. he's astounded by how well you understand the whole situation well, and our, our um, you know, the points of the Keturi If Kaffa, only I people. did. I wished I could. I'm very confused yeah. by all the Mishagash <laughs> in the world. There's so much Mishagash. <laughs> in the world. We said we, we yeah. just want to say in short that we we will not, we don't recognize yeah, the, the Zionist uh, uh, con, uh, state of Israel uh -huh. and we will never recognize it because they're making Judaism into another uh, people into a different people. Well, I don't recognize yeah. the power of the people who claim power in this world now, and there's some new elevated order that's needed. It's going to come out of public access, and people like you, we've got to inform and create another world other than that which we've inherited out of history that these guys do not have a vision adequate to future requires. Thank you for having contributed to a condition Thank where that might you. occur. We're trying to find.